Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Focus on me. Subway surfers are on the bottom. Humans have been domesticating animals for thousands of years. We tamed wolves to become our loyal companions for protection and hunting. We domesticated different felines to defend our farms from stinky rats and mice. Horses for transportation being the pre-modern version of Uber. Yes, please get out. I'm tipping you. I'm giving you one star on Yelp. Chickens providing us with protein and an alarm clock. Sheep giving us wool, which was crucial for clothing. And brown cows for chocolate milk. But some animals are just impossible to domesticate. Today, we're going to talk about... The zebra. Humans have made countless attempts over thousands of years to domesticate zebras. Come here, boy. Come here, come here. <laughs> but they all pretty much said, nah, fuck this. Zebras are resistant to many diseases that affect horses and donkeys, making the idea of zebra domestication a no-brainer for the European settlers in Africa. So why have these attempts failed? There are several factors to why zebras have been impossible to domesticate. Compared to horses, zebras are more skittish. This behavior is deeply rooted from the constant threats posed by predators over millions of years in their native African habitats. They're also known for their aggressive and unpredictable behavior. I got like, I have like crumbs. <laughs> Physically, zebras also have a different body structure compared to horses. They have a more rigid spine and weird hoofs, which makes riding and carrying stuff harder. They also frequently escape from captivity, causing chaos and damage to property and crops. But then someone had the brilliant idea how to solve these problems by creating a new hybrid animal that combined the strength and endurance of the zebra and the calm, docile nature of the donkey. Humans played God and the new hybrid was born. The Zonkey. This hybrid would potentially inherit the best qualities of both parents and would speed up the domestication process of the zebras, letting wild zebras breed with the zonkeys. The thing is that zebras generally have between 32 to 46 chromosomes, while donkeys have 62 chromosomes. When these two species breed, their offspring inherits an uneven number of chromosomes, resulting in the zonkey being unable to produce viable sperm or eggs. Most zonkeys are also aggressive and unpredictable due to their genetic influence from the zebra parent, and with 99% of them being sterile, the zonkey dream is as dead as their sperm. While humans have successfully domesticated many animals, the zebra remains a wild and untamable beast. A stinky little pig! Subscribe to Alan Chow. <laughs>